Hey, it's Software Student here, and today I'm going to be giving another example, a more correct example of a software system showcased using a use case UML diagram. So, as we mentioned previously, a UML use case diagram is a behavioral diagram showing the behavior of often like the actors using, or maybe even here as an example, like servers or databases or other things connecting to our system in some way. In the last episode I showed a few examples and a very simple example with a restaurant but today I have an example of a net library system. So we have two actors, we have like a borrower and an email server which are connected to our system and showcased by this black border. So our borrower have four use cases. We have a reserve book which allowed the borrower to reserve a book, a find a book, so kind of like a search system inside a net library, and a borrower status, and a renew loan. And it is shown that our reserve book is connected to some kind of email service, where it's not necessarily clear in this diagram how it works or what it's going to do exactly, but some, some way, somehow, whenever you reserve a book, there's going to be something emailed, probably, to yourself. That's like a, a general way of thinking it, at least in this case. And just a quick look through the find UML. So, first of all, we tell the program it's going left to right, which allows us to do this like left to right setup. Because if I remove this, you can see we get a kind of confusing top down perspective, which also could be fine, but often when doing a use case, diagram we prefer doing this left to right where we have like someone interacting with the with the system with the software and then maybe some other actors somehow interfering with the system or having some kind of access then i'm just simply showing a rectangle named net library to show the borders of the software to showcase these actors are like outside the main software system we have the relationships between our borrower and we have our relationship between our email server. And then I'm showing the direction of the arrow, which in this case technically is going to be up because we moved it left to right instead of top down. So after doing some kind of use case, we would often create some different use case descriptions where we might describe the borrower and describing how they are using each of these elements, each of these use cases, and like how exactly these use cases would be used. And like making a list, for example, of how to reserve a book. You're like, reserve a book, get some information, and so on, and so on, and so on. And then these uh, different diagrams explaining the different elements in our use case diagram would be used in the next case regarding some more design because this is very much often used in um, regarding analysis of the software where it would be able for the software developer to gather with the customer which often have some, some primary knowledge of the system to agree or maybe to it, 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 it's, it's definitely easier to discuss the system when having this kind of uh, diagram because it's easier for a normal customer maybe who has some libra librarian talking with the software developer about creating this system and they would be e able pretty easily to tell if this is somewhat correct or not. Now this is a library which is a pretty simple system but when you have some kind of like more complex system maybe some regarding like banking or economics or, or some larger uh, system for some kind of uh, company it's definitely very useful to have these diagrams which gives us a very easy way to showcase the use or the basic use of the software. And then afterwards you go into some kind of like um, design phase where you would design maybe even some UML or some other diagrams. And from those diagrams, we can create uh, implementations to create the software. So just to sum up quickly, the use case diagram is a, is a diagram used to show the users of the software in a very easily showcase way because we're using pictures and like stick figure stick figures which are pretty easy to understand so if you enjoyed this video 
please leave a like and subscribe and i wish you all a wonderful day